homes have been destroyed, there's cars destroyed as well. The fires really ripped through this town and the neighbouring town of Springwood on Thursday. This is the Blue Mountains, about an hour and a half's drive west of Sydney. This is an area that has had bushfires or wildfires in the past, but crucially not for about 10 years, and that has meant an awful lot of undergrowth has grown back and was ready as fuel when these flames took hold on Thursday. It's been very, very dry in this part of southeastern Australia since the end of June, really, virtually no rain at all. A tinderbox here ready to go up at the slightest spark, and that's certainly what happened on Thursday. Wild winds combined with very high temperatures, and I'm afraid that caused these devastating fires. In the street I'm in, you can see one house behind me, another 15 houses have been destroyed. Thankfully, no lives lost here, and the fires around this area are largely out now, but there are other fires elsewhere in New South Wales where they are not. Still difficult conditions, about two hours drive north of Sydney, south of Sydney as well, about 100 fires still burning, and of those, about 40 are still out of control, meaning that the firefighters can't contain them in set areas. One man has died. He was trying to fight the fire himself with a hose when he had what is suspected to have been a heart attack. Unfortunately, he has died. But it is remarkable that, so far anyway, that is the only news of a confirmed death. Given the destruction here, given that 200-plus homes seem to have been destroyed, it's remarkable how few lives have been lost.